In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, every spirit of emotion I come against you. Lord, may I speak your word alone. May it be you by speaking through this body. Daddy, every power that wants to change your word in the heart of your children. Let that power be consumed by the thunder of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let our ears be open to hear you, not me, but you. To the end, we all will be productive. We all will become what you desire us to be. That your earnest desire concerning us will start manifesting. In Jesus Christ's name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, we'll be reading some Bible verses. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Um, so this is not there. So for now, you you join us in reading. Can we meet our mic, please? Sit down, Didi, please. Meet your mic more, please. Thank you. Amen. Um, amen. Sister Abela, you will also read. I don't know. So, so, so either your house or you are at work. That should be okay. So, sir. Okay, please. You also do not read. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus Christ. But we have the word from the throne of God, throne of God, throne of grace, throne of mercy. This morning, titled, "You need a word from the mouth of God." You need a word. From the mouth of God. A word from the very mouth of God, you need it. Brethren, if you and I must survive the race we are running, you and I definitely need a word from the mouth of God. If you will not be dragged out from this race, if you will not be frustrated out, if condition will not pull you out, you need a word from the Lord that you always remember. You need a word from the mouth of God that will keep you going. And whenever you remember what God has said, I've told you, nothing shall by any means be able to pull you down. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want you to understand that the Lord God Almighty will always watch over His word to bring it to pass. No matter the situation, it may only take some time. The word of God 
must surely come to pass. So long as the Lord has told you, He will do it. He will perform it. Praise that in Jesus Christ. Mm. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible told us in the book of Isaiah 53, verse 10 to 11. I will read this myself. Somebody go to Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 55, rather. Isaiah 55, 1, 10 to 11. I will read that, read that myself. But somebody please. Genesis 12, 1 to 3. Genesis 13, 14 to 15. And Genesis 15, 1 to 6. And the one in Genesis 12, 15, you will remain there for as you are, you are reading it. Isaiah 55, 10 to 11. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and put that it may not, that it may give seed to the sower and bring bread to the eater. As the rain coming down from heaven, as snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and make it bring forth and boot, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth the Lord speaking so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth so shall the word of God be that he will speak to you out of his mouth it shall not return unto him it shall not return unto me void. Will that be productive? Will that be doing what he has sent it to do? But it shall accomplish. It shall accomplish that which I please. The reason why I told you, the reason why I open your ear to tell you, it shall accomplish with that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where. So I sent it. The word of God from his mouth. If you have never desired it before, you must desire it in these four days now. Lord, I need a word from your mouth. I need you to speak to me. He said, the word that I speak, I will watch over it to bring it to pass. I will make sure the reason why I open your ears to tell you that thing. I, God, please be with me, will make sure it's done. That's why he told us in Isaiah 40, verse 8, the grass withereth. The grass withereth. The flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. The word show me that woman, that man who is unmovable. I will show you somebody who have heard from the Lord. Show me somebody, no matter what you do, no matter what they are doing, he, he or she is never moved. I will show you somebody who the Lord has spoken to. Who the Lord has told, this is what I will do. Show me in our generation a man of God, a woman of God that will never be moved. I will show you somebody like Apostle Paul who God said, I will tell him, I will show him how much he will suffer. So, Lord, the Lord is the one that told him, My son, I will make you suffer. You know that the Lord is able to keep him even in that suffering. He will never be moved. That's why. The Bible told us in 2 Chronicles, I mean Corinthians chapter 1 and 20, for all the promises of God in Him are yea. 
what God has told you he will do. We'll be going to some examples very soon. All for all the promises of God, in him are yea, and in him amen, unto the glory of God by us. Even if you are dying, the person is dying of cancer now. And the Lord come and say, my daughter, my son, by 40 years to come, I will do this, accept it, we do it. Forget about that cancer and take what God has said. Is somebody getting me? Yes, Even when they have told you, they have told you who they were, and the Lord have come and said, I'll give you twins. Forget about it, there was no one. That twins must come. He must do it. Grab the word of God. Let your ear be open to hear your father talking to you. You will never know discouragement. You will never know frustration. You will never know the progression if the Lord has spoken to you. Oh. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 12, 1 to 2. Genesis 12, 1 to 2. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house too, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. And make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Three. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Now, can you read this book? So Abram departed mm. as the Lord had spoken unto him, and Lot went with him, and Abram was seventy and five years old. When he departed out of Haran. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. How powerful the word of God is. As he said in Hebrew 12 as well. The Bible said the Lord saw the lame appear to Abraham and said to get thee out of the father's country and get it thee out from the kindred. Into an unknown land, into a place you have never been before. I will bless you, I will multiply you, I will do the, the Bible said because it was God that was speaking. Abraham did not say, Father, where instantly Abraham stood up and left. The Lord cannot speak to you directly, you will still be doubting, it's not possible. The Lord cannot talk to you. You will still be, hey, can I know? And so Abraham departed. Get the word and run with it. So long as the Lord has spoken, I believe he will do it. The Lord has told me he will bless me. I know he will bless me. No matter what I may face on the way, I know the blessing is ahead of me. The Lord has told me what he will do. If the Lord has created this word everywhere, with a spoken word, with that same spoken word, he has told me he will do this, he will do it. If he can force something out of nothing, Everything we are seeing today, we are formed out of nothing. With the spoken word, that same God, when He speaks, I must believe it. Praise, Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This is chapter 13, 14 to 15. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Verse 14, And the Lord said unto Abraham, After that Lot was separated from him,
Lift up now thy eyes and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward, verse 15, for all the land which thou seest, to thee will I give it and to thou seed forever. Amen. 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 The same blessing again. But all I want to know is the spoken word of God from his mouth directly. Abraham was a man like you and I. We are God's children. Abraham was a son of God. Today we are the children of God. The Bible says, and the Lord said unto Abraham, after that the Lord was separated from him. Many lots said we are separated this day. Has God spoken to you now? If not, desire to. Yet today, all the lots that we have been carrying about were separated. All the lot of distractions, all the lot of the Father's house, all the lot that have vowed never to let you be, that be dragging your journey with you. The Lord separated them yesterday morning. I don't know how many of all the Lord that revealed this vessel. I said, Lord, just as the Lord of Abraham was separated, and you spoke, Lord, all my Lord was were separated from yesterday morning. The next thing now, Lord, speak. The next thing, Lord, is to speak blessing into my life. Everything that was holding me bound, frustrating me, pulling me down, turning me into butterfly. Father, I am sure yesterday you pulled it away. The next thing is to hear your voice speaking. Speak for your daughter is next to me. Speak from an ear already. It's ready to hear. Speak that word into my life. How many of us went home and said, Lord, it's time to hear now. Because all the lots are gone. If I have not done so, if you have not done so, you must do it today. It's time for the Lord to speak because all the lots are no more. Lord has gone his own way. Lord, make my way for me now. Lord, speak my way to me now. Love has gone away. Praise God in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To 16, Genesis chapter 13. Just read it. 12 to 16. Now we read um, 14. Okay, sorry, Genesis chapter 15. 1 to 6, rather. Genesis chapter 15, 1 to 6. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shade, your exceedingly great reward. Two, that Abraham said, Lord God, what will you give me? See, I am I go childless, and the heir of my house is Eliza of Damascus. Three, then Abraham said, Look, you have given me no offering, offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my head. And four, and behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir. Five, then he brought him outside and said, Look now towards heaven and count the stars, if you are about able to number them. And he said to him, so shall your descendant be. Six. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Read verse 14, you know how this thing came about. This was when after Abraham had gone to war. And as he was coming back, the Bible said he met Mechisedek on the way. And Mechisedek blessed him. Now, what I want you and I to pick now, the war is fought yesterday. 
and the Lord have overcome everything for you. Now, in verse 15, after the battle, after all that Abraham had done, the Lord came to him and spoke to him. After these things, after these things, I want to put that thing into consideration. After these things, after all those things yesterday, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham. After all those things yesterday, have you have the word of God not come to you? It must come home. Not to Abraham brother to go and tell Abraham home. Mm -mm. Not Abraham wife. It was Abraham himself. The word was for Abraham and it came to Abraham to the valley. If you have not gone to your own, please, please don't give yourself rest, Emmanuel, until your word comes. Don't give yourself rest again until the word of the Lord has come to you. After these things, and the word of the Lord came to Abraham in the vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am the sheep and the exceeding great reward. The same God is the God we are served today. The Lord is still speaking. The Lord is still speaking after those things. The voice of the Lord is saying, where is that my daughter? Where is that my son? That is where position I want to speak. Abraham was where position and the Lord speak. I believe as many that were online yesterday, even those that were not there but you are here now, I believe the Lord is positioning you for his word to come to you. And it must come. And your life, my life will never remain the same again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 12 to 16, that's it, please. Genesis 15, 12 to 16. 12 to 16. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell upon Abram. And lo, an horror of great darkness fell upon him. 13. And he said unto Abram, nor of a shorty that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not his, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. 14. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterward shall they come out with great substance. 15. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. 16. But in the fourth generation, they shall come thither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Hallelujah. You see how God at line is today, tomorrow, yes, to come, he gets everything to this man, Abraham. Tell me now. What is that thing that will ever make Abraham be afraid again? Nothing. Absolutely. When yes and yes to come have been taught, have been taught to him already. Everything about Abraham's life on earth was settled with him. Even his generation up to 400 years was settled with him. Sister, you need to know your tomorrow. I need to know what's ahead of me. If, if you know what is ahead of you, when they are not unfolding, you will not be afraid again. Ah, the Lord has told me already this will happen. Do you believe the Lord still speaks? Do we believe? Yes. Ah, he has told me already. He actually showed it and he confirmed it to me that this thing will come. Okay, this is one of them. Okay, take it. It has gone. Okay, this one now. Okay. So, Dilly. Problem just come from nowhere. And the Lord has told you already, my son, prepare your heart. It tend to come so so to happen. Open your diary. Ah, okay, okay. This one of them. 
with him. This one I'm also let's say I it come to pass. If you are not informed before time, when it comes, it will perish you, it will pass. Some things that come to promote us sometimes, it destroys us. Why? Because we were not informed before time. And it came to what pass. So people own it came, it never passed them, it destroyed them. Why? Because they were not pre informed. The Lord. We show you your tomorrow. Show me what is ahead of time in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This is how your, your seed will leave their home and go into a friend and become a slave there. The Lord not stop there. I said, The nation that shall do that to the eye will judge. Hope has come again. So that when the time comes for you to start going through to start pain, you know that after the pain, there is one peace ahead of time. You know after the storm, there will be calmness. So no matter what the storm is doing, you know the Lord will gather the person again and use it to manifest. That's why you must ask the Lord of time ahead. Lord, where am I if going? I don't know my left or right. Please, can you show me where my right is and where my left is? What is ahead of me? So that I will know. So that when you come, I will not disappoint you. Ma, sir, the only reason why you will not disappoint God is to know what is ahead of you and prepare yourself for it. The reason why the Lord Jesus Christ was able to face that cross and face clearly because he knew already this is what I came to do. I am in this age not to come and eat bread and butter. Mm -mm. I came to suffer. The reason why I came is to suffer. So I will bear it because I know after the suffering the glory ahead of time. That's why Apostle Paul was able to say, I have fought the way because this is what was given to me. If they beat me, Lord, this one now, I'm passing it again. It has come to pass. They are beating me. What is the next thing again? The Lord shall open a new diary for you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. A very long time, our diary with God had been closed. Remember those days when the Lord will speak to you, you will write it down. And it will surely come to pass. For a long time now, the diary has been closed. The Lord shall open it again for you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Long term promises from the Lord. Long term revelation. Long term word. For 20 years to come. 10 years to come. I need the word for this child so that I will know how to follow him up. I need the word for the ministry so that when things start happening, I will know how to follow it up. If this ministry was not correct in my head, I need certainly the word of God. I need the word to hold on to. Lord, this is what you said. Okay, since it is one manifesting, Lord, I am there. No problem. But if it takes me on a way, that's where problem is. The enemy will never be able to take us on our way again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You need a word to perfect you. Know why? Right? If I'm here saying, ah, my sister, be perfect. Hey, be perfect. If you don't hear it from the Lord, you might think maybe this man is just saying this so that maybe there's something looking for me. You'll be dirty somehow. Satan is so tricky. Hey, am I sure that, that message yesterday? This man, this man, how do I? But if the Lord Himself come to you and say, My son, if you want to end this journey well, this is what I want to do. It's God, I will do it. If you know, after all this, your journey, you will not end up in hell. 
can you stop eating goat meat? Uh, please, I'm only paraphrasing. I'm only saying this now. Since I know God said it got me that will destroy my soul, I will stop it. Can you stop eating chicken? My son, I love you so much. Other people may be eating and drinking pepper soup, eating and drinking cow meat. But for you, can you stop it? Because this is the reason, the only way I can follow you. All right. Okay, Lord, I stop it. You need it. You know why? You may be eating what you're not supposed to eat. Is somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You may be drinking what we said to her or not to you. Even if the Lord used somebody to say, hey, there's somebody here, you are not supposed to be, you will not know it's you. I'll be eating it. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't my story. Whenever I eat, it makes me feel good. It will put me to sleep. Not knowing that thing is killing you. That's why we need a word from the Lord. Genesis chapter 17, from verse 1. Genesis 17, from verse 1, please. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 1. And when Abraham was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Verse 2. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. Verse 3, And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, Verse 4, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Verse 5, Neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but thy name shall be called called Abraham, for a father of many nations have I made thee. Verse 6. Amen. Go, to, go, to verse, go to verse 15. Verse 15, yes, sir. Verse 15. And God said unto Abraham, As for Sarah, thy wife, thou shalt not call her name Sarah, but Sarah shall her name be. Amen. 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 You see how God does things. That's why sometimes we we'll do some things, we we'll do this anyhow. God never do things anyhow. Before God will start using you, there will be changes. God will never jump into you and carry and start using you. No, 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 no. Let me say this. If you are here, the Lord just call you and start using you. Without telling you some things, without telling you about changes, you are working to be, you are working for those. I tell you the truth. Please don't be angry with me. If you are here, you have the calling of God. And the Lord does bundled you. I start using you. He did not tell you anything, any fault. Hey, my sister, my brother, be careful. You are only a cyborg. You are only a poster. The Lord must tell you, this is my, this is me. This is what I want, this is what I don't want. If the Lord has not told you that, I mean talking to you, either through revelation or is speak to you, please desire it all. I'm not only saying that this is what he told the, uh, Daniel in the Bible. This is what he told the, Daniel was the man like you. You are still a man. He wants to talk to you. I, I key into what he told uh, Apostle Paul. I am Apostle Emmanuel. Lord, give me my own. When Samson was about to be given to, the Lord told Samson's mother everything that Samson oh, about Samson. Yet the same thing he said to Abraham. And when when Abraham was ninety years of, of age, ninety years old, yet ninety years old and nine. The Lord appeared to Abraham. Now, something will happen now. Ever since he had not told Abraham, this is what you, you have to do. 
The Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Lord God Almighty. Walk before me and be that perfect. Ever since he never told him this. Now, relationship wants to start now. Covenant manifestation ought to start now. Yesterday, a lot of things have happened. Now, the Lord is in your house now. As he has said it today, you must tell him something. Lord, tell me. Tell me. How do I walk with you? Lord, what do I do? When the Lord called our brother Paul, he first said, Lord, what do you have me do? Walk with me and be ye perfect. Walk before me and be ye perfect. I want you to walk before me. Let go. And you must be what? Perfect. And as then goes on to, and he said to Abraham, your name is for, for as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name, fact, neither shall thy name anymore be called Abraham, but thou, but thy name shall be called Abraham. Neither shall name come Abraham, your name shall be called Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. Remember, when he said, go out of your kingdom, the name was still there. But when the time of fulfillment came, things must change. Circumcision must take place. With that name, you were using to go, to, to, to deny yourself, do other things. I will not go with you. That name must change. The same thing he did to Jacob. Jacob, that name you used to steal your brother, do labor, do all those nonsense. I will not, I will not enter into better with you. Your name will be changed to what? Jacob. Sorry, Israel. God bless you, sir. Has the Lord himself told you something? My daughter, do you even know that name you are carrying now? If it's not the one that the really problem. The same name you use to prostitution. I'm not saying God is speaking that to you, please. I'm only using, uh, I'm only talking on my own now. Do you know that is there something? Do you know it is something that says you must change before I change you? Say, so Abraham, that name with you cannot make you to be fan of all this the name Abraham can only make you to have more slaves. Can only make you to be a farmer. All those cow rarer. But if you want to become fruitful and become father of all nations, that name must be changed. You must have this name now. And you know what? Even your wife in verse 15, the same thing. That name shall be carried up and down. That name is associated to God. It's associated to, you know, the foundation of the name when your father gave to you. But now, this is my own one I'll give to you. For me and you to have cordial relationship. If the Lord have not done such, such in our life, please let us desire him. Lord, what are the changes I need to make? For me to walk with you and follow you. The Bible says, our brother, brother uh, I Paul, said, when the Lord appeared to me, I did not jump into the ministry. I went to Saudi Arabia. I was there for about 15 years or so. What was he doing? Lord, please, please, that must be changed in my life. Let them be changed. I did not consent to any man. I went there three years, about three years. I was there seeking God. Lord, give me the Lord that don't still I want change. Give it to me. That's why when he came out, he became unstoppable. That's why in Luke chapter 4, verse 40 or so, and he returned with the spirit and power. The Lord God, Jesus Christ Himself was in the wilderness for 40 days. 
if the Lord can be separated for funding to be da- for, to be downloaded from heaven, what about your eye? You need it. You need a word from the Lord. From the day in the book of Luke chapter one, from the day the Lord met Zechariah, his life never remained the same again. He had been working for so long. The Bible says Zechariah and the wife they were stricken in age. But the day the Lord sent a messenger to him, everything changed. The Lord downloaded all that he needed. This is how the child will be. This is the name. It's high time we stop we stop living blindly. Let us live with sight. The problem that the church have today, the church is living blindly. Should, is this what I should do or what I, Christians should not live that way? Christians are not supposed to be living with uh, uh, what do I think I should do now? Mm, okay, I think I should know. The Lord said I should do this. But that is how Christians should live their life. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't want to talk much. All I've come to tell you it is have you heard? A word from the mouth of the Lord? If no, you need it. After all the battle, Ma, sir, it's not too late. It's not too late. After all the Lord have destroyed in your home, when the Lord has told our brother to destroy Gideon to destroy the gods of his father's house after the gods said to him, Now build your own now, build my own there now. See, 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 see. This is how I will fight the battle for you. This is what I will do, sister, brother. Please, I am begging you. We need it. We, yes, whatever the Lord have done now, it will not last long. You will not be able to stay there for time. When storm come tomorrow, you will go back again. Praise the Lord. When oh, yeah. storm come tomorrow, I tell you something. The, the truth you know today, you will deny it. I'm telling the truth. All the gods that the Lord himself pull away, you go and carry them. If the Lord did not come and give you the guidance after now. That's what we call after now. You need after now direction from the Lord. As the days are getting close, getting up, getting close down for the first of praying, what you should desire now is not speak to me. Look about this ministry, please take give me the, the, the next phase of this ministry. In my department, Lord, can you give me the next place in my department? Lord, in my marriage, what next? What should I do next now? Lord, about my husband, what do you think we should do? About my wife, Lord, what do I do? But about the work you put in my hand, what do I do? So that I will not be frustrated when it I come. So that I will not give enemy occasion to mock you again. Lord, if you don't speak, the enemy will destroy me. Please don't close your ears on me. Don't close your mouth on me. Speak, oh God. As little as Samuel was, the Lord speak to him from the childhood, and no power was able to bring him down all the days of his life. Bible said he was holy or true. Why would he be holy when the Holy God was always telling him, Don't take it, take it, don't do this, do this, don't go there, go there. 
God cannot be directing you and you'll be led astray. It's not possible. Lord, if you have not gotten the fire of your marriage, say, Father, give me the fire of your marriage. So that it can't anything happen, you're going to open it. No? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is one of them. My husband, my wife, don't worry. If you only, if I know. The Lord said, after this one, this will come. Let's wait for the promotion. Sister, you can never stumble. You can never be humiliated. You can never be discouraged if the voice of the Lord is guiding you. And I tell you something, what the Lord desires most in the life of the student is if, if the children to hear him talk. He desires it more than you and I. If you and I will surrender our ear to him, it's so painful to God that we, his children, we are living blindly. It's so painful to God that his children are dying like cows. They are living like cows that you must use stick to direct. Remember this. We were created in the image of God and his likeness. We are not supposed to be living like cows. We are not supposed to, supposed to be living like deaf, deaf and dumb people. I'm talking to myself now. If this ministry must not capsize, I need to hear a word from my father. If my family, if my marriage must not be destroyed, I need a word from my God. You have to tell me what is ahead of me. In case when it comes, I will know it has come to what? To pass. If you don't have such, when it comes, sister, it will crush you. When it comes, it will destroy you. There are many things that have come to our lives. They came for promotion, but it turned to demotion. Why? Because we were not informed before time. If you are not informed, you will be deformed. Information brings about transformation. If you are not transformation, we need information from above. Lord, make your, your voice known to me. Lord, speak to me. I tell you the truth. I'm able to bear some things now because of what I heard a long time ago. <clears throat> That's why no matter what is happening, I can never be discouraged. I always say, Lord, you have said this, you have said that, you have said that, you have said that, not to prophet, not to prophet, you told me this. It's not to my wife, you told me this, so I stand by your word. You need the word of God to stand by. We all read Bible. Very, very good. Before Apostle Paul came, our Lord Jesus Christ has told so many things to the apostles. But when Apostle Paul came, he said, Lord, tell me my own. That's why in the book of um, 1 Corinthians 11, he said, I have received of the Lord. Though I was not there when it was done, I have received of the Lord, of which I am also delivering to you now. We read the word of God to encourage ourselves. But it's very good. I tell you something, the Lord speaks, still speaks today. You want to speak concerning your marriage. You want to tell you something about your wife, about your husband. You want to tell me something about my marriage, about this ministry. That's why today, some pastors, they are not having godfathers, godmother, because they don't have God by their side. They are going in places to start doing things that, that, that because they don't know God, 
or you're going to tell them anything. So they have to help themselves. That's the question. Help who help those who help You cannot help yourself. The Lord will help you. Say, Lord, please speak to me. Tell the Lord what you want to speak to me about. Your marriage is there. Your tomorrow is there. Your children are there. Your office is there. Everything. Say, Lord, please speak to me. I want to hear from you. If the God that somewhere some Adam is not serving, Lord, speak to me. Please speak to somewhere. If the Lord Jesus Christ and Apostle Sam, I am serving, Lord, speak to me the way you spoke to Apostle Paul. The way you spoke to Peter, Lord, speak to me. So that I will not be fighting you unknowingly. So that I will not be walking against you or not to me. So that I will not be eating what I am not supposed to be eating. So that I will not be fighting myself, thinking is demons that are fighting me. Open your mouth and cry to God. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Baba. My Father, and my God, Baba, Father, please come and speak to me, Baba. Father, come and speak your word to me, Baba, in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, and my God, Baba, I beg of you, Baba. Come and speak to me, Baba. Father, please, I want to hear from you, Baba. I want to hear your voice, oh God, Baba. Father, don't Baba, I want to hear from you, Baba. I want to hear from you, Daddy. Come and speak to me. Come and speak to your daughter, Baba. I am begging, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Baba. Come and speak to me, Baba, so that I will not be eating what I am not supposed to eat. So long. All the things, Baba, that I am eating, that I am wearing, Baba, that I am not supposed to do, Baba. Father, please, come and speak to your Word to me, Baba. Father, please, oh God, come and speak your word to me, Baba. I don't just want to be doing this to my own Baba by my own self, oh God. I want you, Baba, Father, to direct me. Father, please, oh God, Baba, come and speak to me. Come and speak to me, Baba. Father, speak to me, Baba. Father, please, I am begging you, Baba. In your mercy, Baba, come and speak to me, Baba. I want to hear from Daddy, please speak to me. Speak to me, Baba. It is about my children, Baba. Father, speak to me, Baba, about my children. Father, come and speak to me, Baba. So that I will not eat water, Baba, not supposed to. In Jesus' name. After the Holy Communion yesterday, I was praying here with my people. After the prayer, you want to go comes come here and say, I was the mother, say yes. <clears throat> say, don't you think some things we are suffering now? We should not pay a bad set of things. I was listening, say, let me hear what you say. I say, remember so 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 thing the Lord have told you. I believe if you have done that thing that time. This thing is happening now, it will be happening. If you have done that thing for him years ago, that he told you, I believe the Lord will not. I believe it's like the Lord is hungry. So, can we go on our knees and ask God for mercy? You know, I've never ever, I don't think I've prayed that prayer before. I don't even think about those things at all. I say, God, God, this is it. I'm struggling for that one thing for many years now. For so years now. But this is a thing the Lord wanted to do with ease. But because I did not, I was not challenged about it. It's not so difficult now. Brother, 
sister. Is there something the Lord has told you? Maybe you know even here, but he has said it. He said it's business if you did, but he has spoken. If your ear was not open, he will tell you one day, I said it, but it was your ear that was not open. You are the one punish yourself. I have told you what you're supposed to do. You never did it. But I did not hear. Eh? For you not to have heard, it's another, it's another punishment. For I, a big God, to have spoken to a, you, you say you did not hear. That, that's, that's another punishment for you. Lord, is there any word you have dropped in my ear that I never heard? That would have brought solution to my problem long time ago. That would have solved what I am going through now. Lord, I am begging you, in your mercy, can you speak? It? Can you say it again? As you have repositioned me now, as all the gods are gone, and I believe they were the one speaking other things to me. As all the the lot are gone now, please, can you? Speak again concerning those issues. I'm ready to obey you now. In the name of Jesus Christ, open up and pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father and my God, Baba, I'm sorry, Baba. Father, for my disobedience, oh God, Baba. Father, Lord, Baba, in any way you have spoken to me before, Baba, and I've turned my yes, oh God, Baba, away from you. And I am not going to, Baba, the consequences, oh God, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Baba, mercy upon my soul and bring it back to me, Baba. That word, Baba, that you spoke to me, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Baba, I beg of you, Baba. Father, please, have mercy, Baba. And come and bring that word, oh God, Baba, to me, Baba. Father, please, oh God, come and speak to me, Baba. Father, please, oh God, Baba, I am begging you, Baba. Come and speak to me again, Baba. All the words you are spoken not to me, Baba. And I disobeyed. I thought my yes, oh God, Baba. My father and my God have mercy. Amen. 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 The Bible says in Genesis chapter 18, verse 14, is anything too hard for the Lord? Why are we suffering now unduly? Why is that still persisting? Is anything too hard for the Lord at that time? At the time appointed, I will return unto thee according to the time of life. And Sarah shall have a son. He has spoken. And exactly the time the Lord came and Sarah gave him a son. The same question is coming now. Is anything too hard for the Lord to do? No. But because we have not heard the solution to that thing, we are jumping up and down. The Bible says, after our brother, that's a career ahead for the Lord, he went home. He went home and his wife, Elizabeth, Conceived according to the word of the Lord to the angel. Brethren, it's high time. Things have to change. If after all uh, that happened yesterday, we don't hear a word of direction, we may we may lead our to frustration again. We may start digging them out again unknowingly. We might start doing some things we are not supposed to do, say some things we are not supposed to say, going to places we are not supposed to go. Zechariah went straight to his house. The Bible says, in that same Luke chapter 1, when the Lord appeared to Mary through the angel, he told Mary, see, 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 see. And the Bible said, and Mary instantly know what to do. And he went to the house of Zechariah. Yesterday now, the Lord have done something. 
many of us we jump into life just like that. We don't even know what to do next. Lord, what do I do next? Nothing like that. All the gods are broken. All the broken. Now we don't jump into this again. And those things that were destroyed, we don't even know how they came about. Lord, my ears must be open up. I want to start living according to your direction. I want to start living instructional life, instruction from you. If our Lord Jesus can say, What I hear you saying, I say, What I hear you do, I do. What about you and I? Who have believed in you? I'm not only talking about, I feel the Lord is, no, I hear the Lord. The Bible says, and they called unto Samuel. Samuel! Samuel! Is that God not alive again? Is that not the God that Samuel again, Emmanuel? He that created man, does he not speak again? Is he not only speaking by feelings? I feel I should know. No. I read a place in the Bible that God is crying one day. The Lord just said to the people, No wonder you have never heard his voice one day because you are not his children. Oh, I said, hey, God. Does it mean I'm not also his, his son? It means if I don't hear the voice of the Lord, maybe for, for a three weeks now, I'm, I'm God. Are you being challenged by that word? You have never heard his voice one day because I'm not of his. Hey! Jesus, are you also telling me I am not your own, even if I am doing your work without hearing your voice, I am, I am just a same God. Am I not manipulating myself now in this work? I don't want to do your work by manipulation. I want to do it by manifestation of your word. I want to become your daughter. I want to become your son that I may hear you. He told them, say, you are of your father, the devil. For his will, you do. If you get the child of God, you would have hear of your father. So pastors may not do this, so that it will be what I'm telling you, this is what God is saying. No, we are all children of God. So pastors enjoy telling me that the Lord says, God tell you this, God says, I tell you this. No. So long we are all children of God, we are us, we are supposed to hear from you so that you will not put burden on me. There are a lot to be done. If God is speaking to you, speak to me that the body will be less. You will come, ah, I put my this is what God said to me. What do we do? Eh, I put my tell me what God is saying. That man, hey. You are making me to go and pray more, 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 more. But if you come and tell me, Apostle, the Lord does show to me. This is what God said to me. Hey, the only thing you do to confirm it. Don't be start digging and start digging your future, digging everything. No. If I dig for this one, dig for that one, that means, hey, am I there before my time? But if the Lord is speaking to this, speaking to that, it will be sweet, the means will be sweet for me. Not all pastors can say this, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Many pastors want to turn themselves as God in the, in the life of their neighbors. But God forbid, I will never do so. I love driving people away from me. I will drive them to the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't chase people away from myself and chase them to God. 
when I when I change to God, my relationship on your own will be smooth, smoother. Well, if I bring it to myself and I pull you out of God, I cannot be you long, I cannot be long. It will not last, you will weigh me down, it will not last. But when you and I are both walking in the spirit, we are both walking in the same frequency, I tell you, the relationship will be cordial. Lord, I want to become your real daughter. I want to become your real son. My ears be open. The God can talk to somewhere. Please speak to me. The God has spoke to our to Paul. Please speak to me. Now see, where there is no vision, he will perish. Daniel was able to resist all he went through in the land of Babylon because he was always in connection with God. Then he was able to subdue kingdoms, kings. How to why? Because his ears was always open to hear from the Lord. You can never be afraid if you are somebody who hear from the Lord. We will tell you, my daughter, lion is coming tomorrow. And when that lion come, see what you will do when the lion comes. It's gone because the Lord has told you already the lion is coming. But if God has not spoke to you, even if it's lizard that comes, lizard can, can tumble you. Lizard, come on, lizard, will tumble you. Lord, if truly I am serving a living God, Lord, know that if truly there is a living God, if I am serving a living God, please start talking to me. But if I have not been serving a living God, I have been serving a dead God or not to me. Lord, yesterday I repented. If I have still been serving the God of my father's house unknowingly, Father, from yesterday I repented. I believe I am not serving the true God now. Please start speaking to me. Brethren, it is not a shame. And all these organized people. They are God's put to them. Let me challenge somebody with, with this one now. If you have not been challenged with the Bible says, it is not a shame that all these native daughters, all these organized sisters them, they are God, that they will speak to them. But we that say we serve our living God, we are working like Babiala. If you are not ashamed, sir, I'm ashamed. Emmanuel is ashamed. And if you are here, you only hear from the Lord once in a month, once in two months, once in, once in a week. Don't be happy. Don't be happy. The Lord needs to start talking to us all the time. The why? is our Father. He has to be telling us what to do and what not to do. We have no other direction. All the days of Christ's physical life on earth, he was constantly in union with his father. Jesus Christ did not jump and start healing Lazarus when, God, when the father was saying, Jesus, what I want to do is for him to die and resurrected. This one is not about healing, it's about resurrection. But you and I here, we don't even know. So we just call up, eh, Pastor Manuel, God bless you. Somebody gave me my number to call you. Eh, let's pray. Ba, 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 ba. Ow! But be a man of God. From this moment, I refuse to be a blind, deaf, and dumb watchman. Lord, your son Emmanuel refused to be, from this moment, a robust staff watchman. I want to become a watchman indeed. A watchman that somebody up there is watching over. Somebody up, up there is talking to. Hey, a sister gave me your number. I don't get your number. Hey, what is it? 
Hey, 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 okay, let us pray. <laughs> oh, apostle, by the way. Hey. This is not how Apostle Paul did his own. This is not how the, the first apostle did their own. It was God that told Peter, go to Cornelius Asso. It was God that came to him and told him, go to Cornelius Asso. Paul did not jump and start running to Cornelius Asso. Yes, I did hear that. <laughs> it was God that told Peter, Peter, there is one man called Cornelius. Go like this, go like that, go like that. In way they die, that is how it was. But you and I today, no direction, no instruction, pira, 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 pira. This is a generation where I know we will so close, even though God says, no, we will not know, we don't put it on our body. Ba -da 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 -da. And I use my money to sew it. It was my money I used, I will wear it. I will say, my daughter, that cloth don't wear it. My daughter, it will drain your anointing away. Can't you see what is happening? Your cloth is the one killing you. And I use my money to buy it, no problem. Who told you? People use their money to buy poison and do that dead. We don't have direction, nothing. I'm talking to the body of Christ all over. This must change. It must change from you and I on this mountain. It's hard time we start working with direction. Instruction. You don't you don't jump into this anyhow. No. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide aka the shepherd and the bishop of our souls ministry worldwide